Hardy Fowl. You pour a beer, but it's more head than body. Don't want to get a foam mustache? Chemistry's got your back. So say you pour a beer, but it's all foam. Do you wait? Try to drink through it? Grab a straw. No, just kidding. There is a better way. Find something oily like a french fry or a slice of pizza. Even your oily nose will work in a pinch. Get a dab of grease on your finger and swirl it through the foam to watch those bubbles disappear. This works because the oils you just slathered on your finger interfere with the molecules that hold the bubbles together. The proteins in beer are long, chain-like molecules that strengthen beer bubbles by linking with the substances from bitter hops. Soda doesn't contain the proteins or the hops that beer does, so a head of soda foam settles down relatively quickly. In beer, swirling in that nose grease disrupts the bonds between proteins and hop compounds, so the foam falls apart. Chemistry for the win! Though too much foam from a badly poured brew can get in the way, you definitely want some foam on your beer. The bubbles in beer foam carry aroma compounds and contribute to the creamy mouthfeel of a good beer. So maybe just pour the beer properly next time. Give this food chemistry trick a spin and let us know in the comments how they work out for you. But wait, defoaming beer isn't the only chemistry food trick out there. Check out these others on tasting with your feet and amazing disappearing gum. Got any other weird food tricks? Leave them in the comments. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.